Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you five guitar life hacks. I'm not going to be doing any dilly dallying, so let's get right into it. The first life hack we'll be going over is keeping a guitar pick in your wallet. A wallet is usually something you carry around with yourself everywhere, so why not be able to carry a guitar pick with you everywhere? Obviously, this one's pretty simple, but just take your guitar pick and slide it in this little pocket here. Uh, I took out my license because you guys don't need to be seeing my address. The next life hack is having an amp that you can use headphones with. There's probably a lot more amps out there that you know of that can actually use headphones. The amp that I have that I'm able to use headphones with is my Positive Red Spark. This is really the only time that I actually use this amp and it's usually at nighttime, whenever everybody else is asleep and I wanna play quietly. You may have had a really busy day and the only time you have to practice is at night. So having the ability to play quietly without bothering anybody else is a great asset to have on your side. The next life hack we have is something I use all the time, and that is using your toggle switch as a kill switch. The way that you do it is you go to one of the volume pots and turn it down all the way on just one of them and then go to it. Now you're not playing through an amp. And whenever you're ready to go back and play, go back to that pickup that is active and you're ready to play. You're able to do some pretty cool tricks with it too. So you want to do something like this. Kind of stuff, or you could just use it normally like this and say you need to stop and talk to somebody during practice session or something like that. This is a great trick to use. Now, the situation is a live situation, so you have to go talk to the crowd or something like that, or change something real quick. Slap this in this uh, muted position, and now you can do whatever you need to do. The next trick we have here is using a pencil to lubricate the nut. If you're having tuning stability issues, use this trick, and chances are it might help you out a little bit. This is something I do every single time I change strings, and it's very simple to do, and it helps out with tuning stability a ton. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to detune all of these strings. I'm not gonna take them all off. I'm just gonna make it enough so I can move it out of the nut slot, and then scribble in with this. So now that I have the strings detuned enough where I can just move them off to the side of the guitar on both sides, I'm going to take my lovely Barbie princess pencil here and lubricate the nut just by drawing in each one of the nut slots. And after all that, you just kind of wipe off the rest, all the excess that you missed off with your finger and voila. And now that your guitar is all tuned up, it should stay in tune a lot better than before. And now that my guitar is all tuned up, this leads me right into my next life hack. This life hack is something I see used by Jared James Nichols quite often, and it's something that I love to use in my own playing. But if you're playing with something that has some kind of vibrato or tremolo system, this is pretty much useless, so it's mainly geared towards people who are using something like a Les Paul. Now basically what you're doing is using the neck as a wavy bar itself. Now how you do that is you're going to grab the body here, and use whatever note you're playing on and push it forward, kind of bending the neck on purpose. It looks something like this. Usually whenever you use vibrato, the pitch goes up a little bit and then back down to what it normally is. This, you're able to add vibrato by bringing it down all the way. So instead of sounding like this, it's gonna sound like this. So that's just something I love to add into my own playing, it just adds like a nice little twist, a little bit of flavor into your playing. But anyways, those are five guitar life hacks that I like to use, and I think you guys should use too. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to click like. And if you loved it and you want to see more content from me, feel free to subscribe. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.